here's a bit of a riddle for you. What's bluish grey has short wings, a long tail, hops from branch to branch and up until the 1990s was on the verge of extinction? I'm talking about a New Zealand native that's having a wee bit of an identity crisis. The songbird that thinks it's the squirrel, the kōkāko. Tony, what's so special about the kōkāko? They're one of the really old New Zealand birds. They've been here for millions of years. They actually, they grew up with the forest. And because they couldn't cope with rats and possums, we almost lost them. And then we brought them back. It's a classic conservation story of almost, almost, almost losing it. Almost like the huia, which is a close relation. And then being able to bring them back and now being able to reintroduce them. How did you bring them back? Because I know that's something that Pukaha Mount Bruce here is almost pretty famous for. It was just a case of understanding that what was knocking them over were shiprats and possums. And once you take them out of the equation, kōkaka are just, they're made for this forest and they just thrive. There's nothing in here apart from rats and possums that they can't deal with. And of course, if you know that, the numbers just go straight through the roof. Once we could manage remnant populations, you could then look at doing what we've done down here, which is reintroducing them. Because the last kōkaka was seen down here, probably 1948, perhaps even earlier than that. So they've been gone for 50 years. Kōkaka are often known as the squirrel of the New Zealand forest, and they don't look much like a squirrel to me. Where do they get that reputation from? When you see them at 30 or 40 or 50 metres in the tree, what you see is a shadow and it bounces around across the branches and it's gone. And it just looks like a squirrel. Yeah, they'll, they'll call them monkeys, they'll call them avian squirrels. They'll call them all sorts of things. Yeah, Long-legged dancers of the forest. But they're just a bird that's supremely at home here. And this forest is just a ladder. It's a whole series of ladders. They go bouncing up and they'll drop back down, they'll go bouncing back up again. Oh look, it's just been so special for me. I don't think I'll ever get an opportunity like that again to see a kōkāko at such close range. Thank you so much, Tony. No worries. In Maori mythology, it was the kōkāko that bought Maui water when he fought the sun. Now in return, Maui gave the kōkāko those beautiful long slender legs. It's been really amazing for me to see the kōkāko, see one at such close quarters, that was a once in a lifetime opportunity, and just a chance to remember that these locals in our forests belong to all of us and aren't they just such beautiful birds. Yeah.